women are always stripped of their right to study. Not only today, but right from the dawn of human era, women has not been allowed to do a proper study and there has been a lot of restrictions on them. Today I'm going to tell you a story which is going to inspire you and give you a lot of insights and I think you will also tell that yes, I can also do that. Born on the 1st of April 1776, Sophie Germain was a great mathematician and he contributed immensely to mathematics. El elasticity, uh, number theory and electricity has helped mathematicians to solve enormous problems. We know that Emmy Neuther, another great math woman mathematician, was uh, discouraged and he was uh, not offered lectureship in the University of Göttingen. Sophie Germain during this time uh, was trying to get his uh, hold over mathematics. She actually taught herself number theory, but her father was not allowing her to do mathematics. She waked uh, till still uh, late at night and under the uh, blanket, she used to take candles and solve numerical problems. It was during this time in 1794 that Ecole Polytechnique opened, but unfortunately, it was only reserved for men. And it was during this time that Sophie German thought that I would also improve my mathematical problems, mathematical knowledge, if I can get an admission into Ecole Polytechnique. But unfortunately, because it was reserved for men, she was unable to do that. At Ecole Polytechnic, there was a person called Monsieur Lublau, who has long retired and left Paris. The academy did not know about Monsieur Lublau, and the academy was constantly sending uh, problems, printing them and, uh, in order to solve for Monsieur Lublau. Sophie Germain took this opportunity, and she came across those problems and she sent replies, not in the name of Sophie Germain, but in the name of Moshe Lublau. Because the academy was unaware about the existence of Moshe Lublau, they were surprised to see such great solutions to those problems. She continued in this way, and she uh, started improving her mathematical and uh, problems and solutions to number theory. It was during this time another great mathematician came across. His name is Lagrange. Now Lagrange, after seeing those problems, actually knew that Moshe Lubla was not at all good in this type of mathematical calculations. This raised a doubt in the mind of Lagrange and eventually Lagrange sought an appointment with this Moshe Lubla. Sophie German's true identity was revealed and Lagrange was immensely happy that a woman during that time could have solved this kind of solutions and given this kind of answer, which was absolutely astounding. Now, Sophie Germain during that time continued her studies and made sufficient progress in what which we call the infamous Fermat's Last Theorem. Now, Sophie Germain was convinced that her contributions to the Fermat's Last Theorem can only and only be understood by only one person, Carl Friedrich Gauss. Which we, uh, uh, whom we call as the prince of mathematics, but she was a little bit skeptic that would this great person encounter and come across her solutions. Sophie Germain, in a letter to Karl Gauss, not with her name, but in the name of Moshe Lublau, actually sent out those letters. Fortune favors the brave. Karl Gauss was impressed that this Moshe Lublau's solutions made certain advancement to Fermat's last theorem, which the entire mathematical society during that time was striving to achieve. There was a sequence of letters between this unknown Moshe Lublau and Karl Gauss, and Gauss continued to write and reply to Moshe Lublau. Now, it was in 1806 that Napoleon attacked uh, and there he, Napoleon was storming cities after cities in Germany. This uh, caused attention to Sophie German because she was very convinced about the safety of Karl Gauss. He sent somebody whom she knew in the army to make sure that Gauss was not hurt and he was protected. And it was done in that way. Karl Gauss was protected from the ongoing onslaught of Napoleon and eventually 
that person told to Karl Gauss that it was not Moshe Lubla, but it was Sophie Germain who has sent him in order to protect his family. Karl Gauss was taken aback. He was, he was surprised when he came to know that these mathematical discourses, solutions, and the discussion has taken place between a woman and her name is Sophie Germain, not Moshe Lubla. The essence of this story is that if you also continue doing your studies anonymously, sending names not in your name, but there is an ideal teacher, an ideal mentor, an ideal guru waiting somewhere for you. Don't be impatient. Don't feel that you, are, you have got nobody who is going to hold your hand and appreciate and applause your problem. Sophie Germain took a long time uh, before Lagrange and Gauss uh, appreciated her problem, acknowledged her problem, and made uh, admirations that yes, you're doing a great job. When you are doing a job, when you're finding that there is nobody else who could have helped you, there is nobody else who can hold your hand, don't feel in despair. Out of the darkness, there is sure a light. Out of the darkness, there is an ideal teacher who is waiting for you. The matter is time and patience. Sophie Germain, in spite of being a woman, if she could do this, why you cannot do? All you need to do is just wait, have patience, have faith. And there is a teacher, there is a guru, there is a mentor who is waiting out there.